Hi friends, I am Dr. B. V. Rao of the clinic and founder of the website skewmedicaldoubts.blogspot.com and raghavamedicaldoubts.com. Through these videos, I am providing the basic knowledge about the commonly occurring diseases, treatment and uh, surgery details when necessary for the medical knowledge to general people and for reference to medical medicos. Today I am going to discuss about the urinary bladder fistulae. Fistula is the con connection between the two hollow organs which should not be there and causing the soiling of the contents. The fistula to name or uh, vesicovaginal fistula and uh, vesicointestinal fistula. Ves vesicovaginal fistula, it is the most unfortunate thing that can happen to women because she is a uh, condemned to live with it and uh, cannot die for it. Causes, obstetrical causes, protracted or uh, neglected labor, gynecological causes, accidents while performing a uh, total hysterectomy or uh, anterior calporaphy, radiotherapeutic causes. First among them is the radium treatment of uh, carcinoma of cervix uteri to lesser extent irradiation of the pelvic viscera. Direct uh, neoplastic infiltration. Carcinoma of the cervix ulcerates through the antiophonics to implicate the bladder. When there is wound of the bladder and is uh, repaired immediately, leakage is uncommon. If it is unnoticed, the escape of urine will quickly follow. Most vesicovaginal fistulae are a result of uh, ischemic necrosis of the bladder wall due to the prolonged pressure of the fetal head in the obstetric cases. In gynecological cases, the ischemia is uh, brought about by grasp, grasping the bladder wall in a hemostat, including the bladder wall in a suture or uh, even by local edema of hematoma. Leakage due to necrosis of tissue is seldom manifests itself before 7 days after the operation. An intractable fistula following a radium treatment of uh, carcinoma of cervix uteri may arise from avascular necrosis years after the op uh, apparent cure of the original lesion. Clinical features. There is a leakage of urine from the vagina and so Excoriation of uh, vulva, digital examination of vagina reveals a localized thickening on its uh, anterior wall. On inserting a bivalved speculum, urine is uh, seen escaping from the opening in the anterior vaginal wall. It is usually possible to send a bent probe from the vagina into the bladder. Now it is difficult to perform cystoscopy due to contraction of the bladder due to cystitis and the escape of urine from fistula. However, the tip of the probe which has been paused can be seen emerging through an area of granulation tissue. If a swab is placed in the vagina and a solution of methylene blue is injected through the Urethra, the swab becomes a blue, confirms the vesicovaginal fistula. Treatment. After the development of the fistula, the operation must be postponed for four to six months so as to enable the viable tissue in the neighborhood to recover fully and for scar tissue to consolidate. The fistula is ex exposed through the vagina as the edges are freshened and a longitudinal repair of tantalum wire used to tra traverse the bladder wall without uh, mucosa and the whole thickness of the vagina. Parallel vaginal incision may be used to relieve tension of, on the suture lines. The, blood, uh, the bladder is drained by number 4 poly, polythene tubing for 14 days. Unless the urethra is uh, primarily affected, in that case, Suprapubic cystotomy is performed. Vesico intestinal fistula. There are uh, few types like uh, congenital, inflammatory, and uh, neoplastic. 
congenital fistuloid presents from birth and uh, difficult to manage inflammatory colonic diverticulitis is the common inflammatory cause other causes are uh, crohn's disease pelvic appendix abscess tuberculous peritonitis and uh, suppurative endometritis neoplastic cars carcinoma of the pelvic colon ulcerating into the bladder colon or rectum clinical features it is more common in men than than women due to interposition of the uterus in female in case of the colonic diverticulitis there may be inguinal bladder symptoms due to the inflamed diverticulum impinging upon the bladder once a vesico vesico intestinal fistula has penetrated the full thickness of the bladder wall in addition to intractable cystitis the patient passes gas per urethra also called pneumachoria sometimes fecal matter is passed with urine very rarely urine is passed via the bowel there is often an inflammatory or a neoplastic mass to be felt in the rectovesical or uterovesical pouch cystoscopy it confirms the presence of a vesico intestinal fistula if the fistula is small and the edges are uh, smooth it is uh, likely to be inflammatory other methods of confirming the position of the fistula is the retrograde cystography and uh, barium enema treatment a defunctioning colo colostomy is made above the fistula then inflammation is allowed to subside for 3 months at laparotomy the communication is separated the hole in the bladder is closed and uh, patched with omentum and the disease uh, disease bowel is resected a temporary suprapubic cystotomy uh, completes the operation the colostomy is closed 2 weeks later if carcinoma is the cause uh, by the time the fistula has developed the growth is uh, inoperable or uh, pelvic evisceration for its uh, attempted eradication as so often these patients are uh, unfitted for this major procedure it is uh, best to leave the patient with the defunctioning colostomy performed in the first instance sometimes it is warranted to uh, undertake segmental resection of colon and a partial or a complete cystectomy that's all about the urinary bladder fistula and uh, in the next video i will discuss about uh, some other disease thank you